Hello, namaste. This is James Wong and welcome to my YouTube channel. Due to several requests from my students and friends from all over the region and neighboring countries, I've decided to come up with a short video as a reference to some simple techniques of breathing exercises. Now, shortness of breath can be a huge issue for COVID-19 patients, especially during their recovery period. So if you find that it is hard for you to complete a complete sentence or simple sentence or constantly having shortness of breath, please seek for medical advice immediately. And while you're performing these exercises that I'll be teaching you shortly, you find that you're going through some giddiness or nausea or perhaps shortness of breath, please stop those exercises immediately. So in order to perform our breathing exercises today, I'll require you to prepare a couple of props and things. First is your chair, and preferably if the chair is close to a table, and a couple of pillows to support your body, and a huge bolster with a raised up platform to create an angle of 30 degrees, like a wedge shape for you to lay back on supine later. It is advisable not to lay flat on your back on supine while you're performing all these exercises, because it would make it very difficult to perform these breathing exercises, especially when you're recovering from COVID-19. Now, if your medical physician has given you advice on a couple of breathing exercises, please refer to them, and you could use some of the references from this video as well. And whenever you feel that you're going through some shortness of breath, or giddiness, or feeling nauseatic, please stop these exercises immediately. Now, I'd like you to sit on the chair now with both of your feet grounded on the floor. So we're going to, I'm going to guide you through some easy breathing first, okay? And we're just going to take step by step through all those techniques. Shall we start now? So I would like you to place your hands just right beneath your ribcage around your abdomen area. Now relax the shoulders. Now take a very easy breath in. Slow, easy breath. Now I like you to fill up your lungs with air. As you fill up your lungs with air, allow your belly to expand very slowly. And as you exhale, relax your belly and relax your ribcage. So this is an easy breathing. We call it the belly breathing, where you wanna focus all your breathing to expand your abdomen cavity here. So your abdominal cavity is filling up the space as you breathe in. So as you inhale through nose, fill this area with air as much as you can, but you don't, hold, don't need to hold the breath, okay? You don't need to hold the breath. If you find that your breath is short, it's fine. Okay, take it easy. And as you exhale, gently release. So you need not drag your breathing. So you don't have to breathe in and take long, deep breaths in, okay? For a start, just take easy breath according to your level, okay? Take easy breath in. Just feel the movements of your hands moving away from each other. Inhale. Exhale. Just relax the belly as you exhale. Can you do that a couple more times? So breathe in. Gentle breath in. It's just very gentle breath in. And as you exhale, gently relax. Breathing, inhale. Exhale. Do that a couple more times. Okay, allow your breath to expand your belly as you inhale. So basically, the action is pushing the belly out as you inhale. And 
as you exhale, just relax the belly. Do that a couple more times. As you breathe in through nose, allow the belly to slowly expand, pushing it out. And as you exhale, just naturally relax your belly. You can be also sit on the on your bed. Yeah, while well, you're doing this. Very simple breath in. Simple breath out. Well done. Now, once you have mastered this easy breath, in and out, take very slow breath. Yeah, you don't have to follow um, other people trying to drag the breathing for long deep breaths in. As long as you can actually capture this properly and master this technique, the flow of the breath, in and out, then you can move on to the next level. Okay, the next level is taking slow, deep breaths in. So it's a little bit more as compared to the one before this. All right, so as you take a deep breath in, take slow, deep breath in and allow your belly to continue to expand followed by your rib cage followed by your chest cavity and as you exhale just relax the chest relax the rib cage and relax the belly so we do need to focus quite a bit yeah it requires a lot of concentrations so i'd like you to concentrate on the expansion over here and then the rib cage and then the chest avoid tensing up tensing up your neck so please relax all these muscles around your neck area in your shoulders area so just try to relax your shoulders away from your ears and try to sit as tall as you can now let's try that again so think about level one two three okay like an elevator so as you inhale through nose, allow the breath to expand the belly. Slow, deep breath. The rib cage and the chest. And as you exhale, relax the chest, rib cage and belly. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. Breathing through nose, allow the breath to expand from your belly area, followed by your rib cage, followed by your chest expansion. And as you exhale, relax the chest, relax the rib cage, relax the belly. Let's do that a couple more times. Okay, some of you are just getting a hang of it, isn't it? So don't worry, you can always rewind the video and go through the first part first. Okay, take slow, deep breaths in and feel like an elevator expanding from the bottom to the middle part all the way to the upper part. And as you exhale, slowly out through your nose, relax your chest rib cage and your belly and you can go on and on throughout this whole process and at any point of time if you go through some shortness of breath or going through some nausea doing these exercises or feeling any any kind of tiredness any signs of tiredness please rest or stop these exercises immediately okay okay so I'm going to perform some breathing exercises, incorporating these exercise, breath exercises with some sitting positioning. All right, sitting positioning. So you can lean forward with the forearms or elbows lightly placed on your thighs. Okay, this is one of the first sitting position to perform your exercises, your breathing exercises. I'd like you to breathe naturally just like how you did it. So breathe in through nose, 
Feel the belly expand, the rib cage in your chest. And feel how the breath starts to circulate all the way to the back of your rib cage. Yeah, to the back of your lungs there. And as you exhale, relax. You can also place your hands underneath your jaw and focus on this breathing. And if you're near to a table, I will just mimic a table in front of me. All right, I'm gonna raise up my pillow. So you can place your pillow on your table and then you can just lay onto one side of your face or your head and perform the same breathing technique. Slow, deep breath in. Feel the expansion of the abdomen area, your rib cage, and how that lung starts to expand on the back side of your rib cage as well. So feel that rib cage expanding on the back side of your lungs here. And as you exhale, you can even let it out from your mouth. Continue with the same process of breathing. All right, well done. So this is one of the two sitting posture that you can sit on a chair and perform the breathing exercises. Now, if you're standing, well, I'm gonna use the chair just to mimic as if this is a table okay as if this is a table so you can place your hands firm against the, ta the top of the table okay so that while you're pressing your hands against the table you're actually opening up a lot of your chest region over here so have your front slightly bent and then press against the table and focus on the same process of breathing technique Expand, exhale, relax, breathe again. And exhale. And you can repeat the same process, either sitting or standing. Okay, so that was our sitting position and our standing position. Next up will be our floor positioning, okay? So I would like you to be either on the bed or on a soft yoga mat or a soft mattress on the floor. So if you find that laying down on your belly or prone position finds it hard for you to get up later, you may want to opt out from this option. But let me show you first how we're gonna do it. So I need you to place a bolster or a pillow right underneath your pelvis to support your lower back. And another pillow to support your legs. You can either place your hands out on the side or place your hands underneath the forehead or you can even have another bolster or a pillow to lay down. You can turn your face on one side and you can even have one leg bent on the other side. And while you're here, I'd like you to focus slow, deep breaths in. Now, while you're performing this exercise, I'd like you to pay a lot of attention of how your breath really circulates to the back portion of your lungs. Yeah, this is especially very useful for our COVID-19 patients especially while you're recovering. So breathing in through nose. Exhale. And it's important to remember not to stick to one position for a long period of time. So it's good that you change your positioning 
throughout this process of breathing exercises. Now, um, after prone position, we're going to lay on our right side. The right side, so you can place a bolster or pillow right be, um, be in between your knees or thighs and just rest onto the side. You can remove this and perform the breathing naturally. Slow, deep breaths in and slow, deep breaths out. And you can continue for like three to five minutes on each side and repeat and repeat and repeat. Okay. And then from here, from the right side, we're going to go on supine. As I said earlier, it's not advisable for you to lay flat on your back. So it's good to create a 30 degrees angle from your bolster. So we're just going to lean on your back, relax your legs, you can have your legs bent and place your hands onto your ribcage or your belly area and focus on slow deep breaths in and feel how your belly rises and expand, how your ribcage expands like an accordion, your chest cavity expands as well. And as you exhale, your chest relaxes, your ribcage relaxes, and your belly relaxes. Continue the same process. And as you exhale, relax, and relax, and relax. And then we turn to our left side. So again, it's the same thing. Lean over to the left side and perform the same slow, deep breaths in. And you can keep changing positioning, yeah, to cover the prone position facing down, facing sideways, facing up, where, up, yeah, on supine, facing left side, and then keep turning, all right? So I hope that these breathing exercises and some little tips and techniques are useful for you. So you can use these as a reference on top of your medical advice from your medical physicians. And namaste.